Hello, hello, it looks like we're live. Um, hey there. <laughs> I am Jessica Collins from Forest Bathing Central and I am out in the woods right now um, at a local, this is a trail near a school and they have like a disc golf course here and um, workout stations along the pathway so it's really awesome it's a really cool place but i went off the beaten path a little as you can see behind me there's this little stand that somebody made and i'm just sitting in it um forest bathing like you do <laughs> and i am just gonna use this um stick as a tripod because i didn't bring one i didn't lug one out here <laughs> so i just wanted to hop on live quick and do a quick video for you guys which I will hopefully upload to um, YouTube afterwards so I just wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately um, it's a process that I like to call imprinting and I kind of refer to this process in my post for the um, American Forest Therapy Association and if you see me swatting, there are still a ton of mosquitoes out here. Um, we had a whole bunch of water a couple weeks ago, just a ton of rain, and it sprouted like a whole nother population of um, mosquitoes. We already had a frost. It got rid of a lot of them, but there's still quite a bit out here. So it's not uncomfortable yet, but <laughs> if you see me swatting, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so. Anyway, so I'm in this little hut here and I'm just taking some time. My son is at football practice and this little forest area is right next to um, the stadium and everything. So I thought I'd take some time and pop on, do a little video. So anyway, back to imprinting is what I wanted to talk about. Um, so in my post, I talk about this ropes course that I did as a kid in high school. I did, um, we went on a retreat with our youth group from church and we did a ropes course at the retreat. I believe it was like a weekend retreat and it was at cabins um, in a pretty wildernessy area. And we did this ropes course and it freaked me the freak out <laughs> um i don't usually have a fear of heights but on this particular occasion on a ropes course i was freaked out because you're walking on like um like really thin rope sometimes or you're holding on to like really rickety um just movable ropes on either sides of you and um I did relatively okay until we got to the top and you had to zip line down to a platform and we were way up in like at the top of the tree line and I remember probably a summer or two before that I had done a zip line into water at a water park and the second I let go with my hands I dropped straight into the water so I was so worried even though I was tied up and harnessed and had ropes and everything I was so worried that I was gonna fall off that and like break my back or something I was freaked out I didn't think that I had enough strength to hold that and go down so on the top of this platform way above the tree line there's this camp counselor and this is where the idea of imprinting came from. So she was just the kindest of hearts. She sat with me and just pretty much put her proverbial arm around my shoulder. She may have actually put her arm around my shoulder, I don't remember, um, and just like walked me through. And she said, I want you to remember this moment right here. She could see how scared I was. She knew that once I got to the bottom, this was gonna be a big deal. So she said, okay, I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to smell and feel the air entering your nose. And she just had me take a few deep breaths. Now, I'm sure this was like 
she probably had, you know, some kind of psychological tactics to help because, because of her training as a counselor. But, I mean, this was very memorable for me and very um, touching. So she just had me go through, like, I want you to look around. I want you to look around at all the trees. I want you to look down at all your friends down there rooting for you. And she just had me take in the entire atmosphere with all my senses, which sounds a whole lot like forest bathing, right? But the objective is very different. So, you know, forest bathing is a whole different territory than just this imprinting. So um, I'll keep on with my story. So she had me just use all my senses, taste, smell. I remember it clearly, like clearly. I remember very little about the actual ropes course itself except this moment up on that platform. And finally, after, after taking these few moments to really settle down and bring the anxiety level down, which her training she was excellent at, I finally let go. And I went to the bottom and all my friends were down there to catch me because you have pretty good momentum coming down. They caught me, they high-fived me, they hugged me. It was like this big cheer fest because they had been waiting for me for a while and they knew this was a big deal. So. This is it like a memory that I will never ever forget, but this imprinting that I'm talking about today is the, the way that this stuck in my memory so well. So imprinting was, was that process of taking in a moment in all its detail. And I've used this on other occasions to remember something memorable. Um, just to like if I'm feeling amazing or I'm having a moment with family or something amazing is happening and you want to imprint it in your memory this is the process that um, you can use to do that and you know usually this is for something like you know a wedding day or you know just a normal day when you're playing with your kids but you you know that someday you're gonna want to remember this little incident that you had with them just something touching from when they were little that you know you're gonna miss so it's so to imprint i mean basically like i said you stop and you just take a snapshot a 3d snapshot of the entire moment the smells the taste not literal taste but like breath you know what does the air taste like um sight touch sound I don't know if I said that already, but you get it. Senses and just take in the entire picture in 3D like I could right now in this little hut that I'm sitting in, which is so cute. I wonder if the high schoolers made these, but hey, take advantage. Um, so the process of imprinting, like I said, sounds a whole lot like forest bathing, but the objective is totally different. It's to take this snapshot in your head to remember it and to keep that clear memory in your head like I have of this ropes course and some other moments in my life that I've chosen to imprint. So I encourage you the next time you're in a beautiful moment, um, you're somewhere without your camera. I mean these were, these were times when I didn't have my camera but sometimes you don't need a camera, you just need to do this imprinting process to really imprint it into your brain. Um, so yeah, so next time you're having like a really precious moment with your child, next time you're in the forest, um, next time you're at a wedding or having just a hug with somebody that you love, just take that whole picture in and really let it sink in, in all your senses to imprint it to memory. So that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I just wanted to, this imprinting has been on my mind for a while and I figured I'd pop on and I <laughs> took a chance and came on live this time instead of recording a video to share later. So I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time. Bye!